God bless each and one of you. We're going to talk about ways how to grow more in God. One of those ways is by prayer. Praying is one of the ways to give time to God. Putting God as your number one is our main majority in the, our Christian life. And putting God as our number one also helps us grow more in Him and understanding our relationship with Christ. Part of our relationship with Christ is putting our faith in Him. Also putting our trust in God. Also by prayer is very something powerful. You're talking to God. And people don't know this about prayer. That praying is actually talking to God Almighty. You're actually giving Him time. And most of us pray about the world and about different things like that. But our main focus is to give God His time. So that we could be more closer to Him and we could actually know who our God is. Another way to grow more in God is by fasting. Fasting is like stop feeding your flesh and you're feeding your spirit. So in the spiritual realm, demons are actually trying to attack us when we fast. Also by praying so that we could be more lazy and not give God our time, but we could feed more of our flesh. And that's what the enemy is trying to do to make us stop us from growing in God and try to make us be more in the flesh. But brothers and sisters, Jesus said that the flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. Or more exact, the flesh gives birth to flesh life, but the spirit gives birth to spiritual life. Now, which one do you want to have? If, you, if we want to grow more in God, fasting is the only way and by prayer. But the thing is, fasting is like cutting off food. Now, the thing is, when we eat uh, for food, we eat food for us. We don't eat it for nobody. We just eat it for us so that we can be fulfilled. But brothers and sisters, God wants us to be fulfilled spiritually. It's not saying to not eat ever again. But God wants us to have a healthy and healthy and spiritual life in him. Okay? Um, we need to be more focused getting right with God now than eating these foods, you know, that won't help us in our Christian life. Now, brothers and sisters, eating is nothing bad. But we need to give time to God. And the best way to do it is by praying, but mostly by fasting. And the reason why I say this is, well, I don't say this, the Lord. The Lord wants us to be more fasting so that we can give time to God so that we can know more of God. And you're giving him time. You're giving God time. And you're saying to God, like, that I really want to look for you. By fasting, it's like you're making, you're like stop feeding your flesh, but you're feeding your spirit. And by feeding your spirit, we grow more in God in faith and in trust because in faith we cannot do it on our own. We need the strength of the Lord. And you know, most people when they have victory over their fast, they usually go to Philippians four thirteen. I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. Not only because they seen the effect while fasting and prayer. But they know that that's how we're supposed to live. Another thing is, and we think in this Christian life, it's going to be easy. But brothers and sisters, I'll tell you now, it's not. And that's one of the things God tells us. But one of the things that God promises us is that he will never forget us nor despair us. But that he'll give us strength and that he'll always be with us. And that's a promise by God. And, he, and we should keep that in our hearts. All the promises he ever makes... And all the things that he ever says is true and always will be. And brothers and sisters, we need to put our tr trust and faith in God. But if we want to grow more in God and put God as our number one and grow our relationship with him, we need to put all of our trust and faith in him. We need to really like search for him. By fasting and by prayer, we keep feeding our spirit. And we're going to see effect in our Christian life. Amen, brothers and sisters. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.